Hello and welcome everyone to Gold Asset of the Day for the 30th of June 2020, presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Club. So today is in fact the last trading day of the quarter and with that we have seen gold have a phenomenal performance over the last three months. So effectively we've seen the best rally for gold over this quarter since 2016. Gold prices are up 12% over the last three months. We've continued to capitalize on these breakouts. In fact, we banked just at the beginning of this week, 270 points, which has been a combination of trades on platinum and the US dollar. And as you mentioned, we banked 530 points on gold just the previous week. Now, currently where we're poised, we're at a very interesting zone here for gold as we transition into the 1st of July tomorrow. There are some major news items that you need to be aware of this week. So on Thursday, instead of the usual Friday non-farm payroll, due to the US holiday for Independence Day on Friday, we have non-farm payroll on Thursday. You definitely need to be very aware of this because last month we saw over a 450 point sell-off for gold on non-farm payrolls. Now that was off the back of better than expected data from the US. So have that definitely in the diary for this Thursday. Non-farm payroll is not on Friday, it is going to be on Thursday. Then on Wednesday, we have the minutes of the FOMC statement later on in the session. This can also be a catalyst for some really big moves here for gold. And bear in mind that at the end of the quarter and the last trading day of the month, which we have at the moment on June, we are likely to see new capital flows coming into the market from the 1st of July onwards. So you need to pay very close attention to this, particularly as hedge funds and money managers have increased their net long positions again in the latest week on both gold and silver. And currently gold is sitting just $10 below its eight year high. Now we've covered this in detail with you also on the week ahead commodity report, the expectations for gold, for silver, for platinum, for crude oil over the course of this week. But let me talk you through that in a little bit more detail. So we identified with you at the beginning of the week an opportunity on platinum, where we were looking to be a buyer at that 800 US dollar per ounce zone. In fact, we banked 170 points on yesterday's breakout on platinum. We are still staying in that position. We've also benefited from a breakout on the dollar. Gold right now is consolidating. It's been within a very tight range so far this week. This is likely to set up for a big move here that you want to be able to capitalize on in the coming days. And typically throughout the month of July, it is a big month for the precious metals, for gold, for silver, and for platinum. It's during these times right now where many technical traders have been chopped up. They've been trying to sell the metals. They've been selling against the rallies here, particularly on gold. We've seen a lot of technical traders get taken out of the market in the latest weeks here as gold has just continued to rise over 12% move so far in the latest quarter. Gold's up 16% so far this year. Many of you have capitalized on our analysis, which has continued to discuss buying the dips on gold week to week, which has just been a great strategy to be able to capitalize on the breakouts. And of course, we identified platinum at the beginning of the week with you. So you definitely don't want to be using a 100% technical based strategy. And of course, strategies that may have worked in previous years, they are going to be irrelevant in 2020. I'm sure you're aware, but there's a completely different dynamic to the market, to capital flows, to geopolitics, and to what we're seeing from a macroeconomic point of view as well. And this is where you want to be utilizing a research driven approach, professional approach to the markets, not the retail approach, the technical analysis approach, which is just going to see you get chopped up or you're going to miss the moves, or you're just going to continually not be able to capitalize on these market conditions. If you're not making money at the moment in the markets, you absolutely should be, and you need to review that. We're in an environment right now where interest rates around the world have been cut by central banks. We've seen unprecedented amounts of stimulus, over $3 trillion of stimulus from the USA so far this year to counteract the effects of COVID-19. All of this is presenting you with phenomenal opportunities to profit, profit from moves fast that have been unparalleled this year compared to previous years where we've seen just unbelievable opportunities on the commodity markets. So if you do want to be able to maximize on this, especially over the next six months, we're now halfway through the year, have you made money so far 
in 2020. I absolutely hope you have because it's been an incredible year so far. And if you want to upgrade your income, you have to upgrade your skills. And this, of course, is where a research driven approach is going to really help you, especially given that trading provides that opportunity to make profits fast. It's recession proof. And you're also going to learn how to trade the right way where you're getting an edge in the market. So, of course, if you would like to find out more how to become a member of the Golden Silver Club and join a community of successful traders, there is an opportunity for you to do so. Just click in the link below today's report, make an application to become a member of the Golden Silver Club, and we will get in touch with you ASAP. So with that, that's been Gold Asset of the Day. And of course, I wish you good trading.